turkey stuffing casserole, five ingredients from Dollar Tree. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a turkey stuffing casserole for five ingredients for five dollars from the Dollar Tree. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. He's also directing you to smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget when we get to 700, which we're getting there and we're getting there quickly. We're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. One for a new subscriber must comment you are new and be a U.S. resident. For the comments, you must be subscribed and be a U.S. resident. All that information is always in my description box and down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. Let's get cooking. We're going to be making a stuffing turkey casserole for five ingredients, $5 from the Dollar Tree. You will need a stuffing mix, Campbell's cream of mushroom, Campbell's cream of chicken, mixed vegetables by Green Giant, and their wild turkey in the can. Any of the cream soups will do that they have, as well as vegetables. This is a real easy dish to do. I'm going to spray my casserole dish. Then I'm going to dump in my stuffing mix from the Dollar Tree. going to follow the directions on the box. This is a great dinner idea for people who don't want to do an entire turkey or it's just you but you still want to have some kind of Thanksgiving flair with it. It says one and a half cups of hot water and a quarter cup of butter, which is a half a stick. Let the water run until it was hot. I'm going to add in one and a half cups. Perfect. Dump it in. Mix it up so all the spices get blended. Now I'm going to take a half a stick of butter and I'm going to slice them thin, laying them all over the dish. Cut it directly in half. And then cut it into butter pats, just laying it all over. Then we're going to open the can of turkey and drain it. I'm also going to open up my can of mixed vegetables. And I'm going to rinse and drain them. I always rinse canned mixed vegetables. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Opening the canned mixed vegetables first, I'm going to let them rinse a couple of minutes. If you have a freezer department, you can get a bag of the mixed vegetables. They usually have them on hand. Or peas and carrots would work too. Keep in mind the can is 15 ounces and the frozen bag is only 14. You're getting an ounce more for your money. I have my cream of chicken. Using my wooden spoon. I'm going to scoop it out. And I will wash my cans and rinse them for recycle bin. Then we're going to add in the cream of mushroom soup. I love pop in the top. I wish they all were. We're not going to dilute our cream soups. I like to use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. It just makes it more flavorful. Go ahead and dump in those mixed vegetables. And you're going to mix everything all about. 
I put it inside one of my Dollar Tree tinfoil pans in case I make a mess and that way it'll stay put. Now we're going to take our cans of turkey and open them and you're going to drain your turkey. You don't want the juices in it. I went ahead and I drained my turkey. I'm going to scoop it in. If you're a larger family, I would pick up a couple extra cans just to make sure you get enough meat in every bite. My 11 year old will not touch this. My husband and I will have some, and Isabel may. They're very picky. Make sure you mix it all in. Then, from your spice cabinet, grab some black pepper and some garlic powder. Two teaspoons of garlic and about two to three teaspoons of fresh black black pepper. You can serve this with dinner rolls from the Dollar Tree. They have asparagus in the frozen department from time to time. They have instant mashed potatoes that are made with real potatoes. You can serve that on the side or you can even make it a topper for this. Now I'm going to put this into the oven. I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes. I'm going to get a little all bubbly and yummy and delicious the way stuffing gets with the turkey and mixed vegetables and the cream soups and everything just all mixed in. It's going to smell like Thanksgiving in your house. It's going to be awesome. Here's what it looks like. Now I'm going to take it over to the oven. I'm going to pop it in and we're going to time it. I always place my dishes to the center of the rack. Now let's time it for about 25 minutes. You'll know it's done when it's looking crispy on the top. There is about eight minutes left. Let's take a peek at the turkey stuffing casserole from Dollar Tree. Oh my God, it smells so good. And it's starting to crisp up. It is done and we're gonna take it out of the oven I'm going to grab my pot holders here. I like to use two. Oh, it smells so good. It is done. I'm going to scoop some out onto a plate so you can see what it looks like. It looks and smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. I am hungry. Taking some out of the dish here. I'm going to add a little more to my plate. You can serve this with the dinner rolls from the Dollar Tree. Here's what it looks like, the turkey stuffing casserole from Dollar Tree. Let's go ahead and try this a turkey stuffing casserole with big chunks of turkey and the vegetables and the stuffing. God, this is really good. You're going to want to make this. I'll make sure everything you need to know is in the description box down below and what to buy and what to look out for at the Dollar Tree. In this video, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making a turkey stuffing casserole all with Dollar Tree ingredients for five dollars or less. Five ingredients to stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck, save you money. I really appreciate everyone's support. If you're new, Thank you for checking me out. If you subscribe, welcome aboard. My subscribe guy, he just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget about the giveaway when we get to 700. That information is always in my description box down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell.